Hello everyone, how are we doing? We're back for another Ordnance Survey, Great British Treasure Hunt. This is episode six, I believe, um, which is Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. And as you can see already, we've got a very, very built up area. This is the most built up we've been so far during this treasure hunt. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do with this one. Um, before we begin, uh, a lot of people have been requesting that we do lives with this which would be great but I've already started this book so I'm going to finish this book then the next book because there's another one we'll do it every single episode we do live and then we'll upload it to the channel uh, and that way you can all help help me in because obviously we we've seen the first five episodes I need help um, you can help me and we can we can hopefully get full scores so um, we're going for nine out of nine yet to get nine out of nine and it would be fantastic if we could so Without further ado, let's get going. Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. Question number one, which football ground is shown on the map? Now this is easy, this is an easy one apparently. And I'm a football fan, so I should, I should know this. Uh, and I think I've already seen it. It looks like we're in, in Glasgow, because I, I didn't even know that Kelvin Grove is in Glasgow. And I can see Ibrox Stadium there which is the stadium of Rangers. So, oh, oh, my text is yellow. Why is that? Oh, that's because I used it the other day. So, of course, Ibrox Stadium is the stadium of Rangers FC. So we'll put Ibrox Stadium. And I'm just going to put, to be safe, Rangers. If there's a football question, I'm more than likely going to know it. Uh, question two, what is the circular building used as? What is the circular building used as? So let's just dive in a little bit. The, the, the thing that immediately jumps out at me is this one here, which of course says theatre. And I can't really see any other circular buildings. And as it's an easy question, I think it's going to be that. A lot of a few people have said actually someone said what did they say someone said in the comments of the last episode that I should slow down because my ego is getting in the way or something I didn't really quite understand that I thought I took a lot of time anyway but I guess not okay question three we're on to the medium questions now counting from the top which full or partial grid row which full or partial grid row of the map contains the most places of worship and how many is that? Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, are these crosses worships? Places of worship? Or is it just... Okay, I think it's just the ones with the circle or the square. I think. So let's say... Although they've got a cathedral here. Okay, so there's one in this grid row here. Grid row. So we've got the whole row here, haven't we? So we've got one. Something's telling me that these crosses... They, no, it can't be those crosses. There's too many of them. There's too many of those crosses. It can't be. Okay, let's just take those into... So we've got one there. We've got a cathedral for two, which is this one here, I believe, with the blue cross. This one here for three. This one here for four. This one here for five. So five in that one. This middle one here, we've got another cathedral. Then we've got that one there for two. That one there for three. That one there for four that one there for five that one there for six six in that row it's going to be that one isn't it here we've got two in this one this row we've got one yeah okay so i think what we're saying here is the second the second full row 
So we've got a partial grid row there, the first full one there, and so we're going to say the third. What I'm going to say is the third. grid row from the top second full row just so we can get make sure we know exactly what we're talking about so it's this row here this one here good question four in which area is the largest hospital on the map in which area is the largest hospital on the map now first off We've got, a, we've got a large hospital here. That looks pretty big. Yeah, I think it's this one here. I think it's Kelvin, Kelvin Ho. We've got a university here. We've got a university here. We've got a school up here. School there. School there. No. Okay, I think, I think that's it. I think it's Kelvin Ho. That's what we are going for. And I'm, I'm not very confident, but this could be four out of four, you know, guys. This could be four out of four. I'm not going to rush, though. We're on to our question five. We're on to the tricky questions now. And question five says this. Are we recording? Yes, we are. What do the following words have in common? Bridge, inning, knock, and west. Bridge, inning, knock, and west. Right, let's go into the map. Now, we've got Kin Ing there. Kin. Ah, oh, no, that's inning. That's the whole thing. Hmm. Bridge and knock. Well, let's look for some bridges. Oh, let's look for some bridges. Okay, so there's Kelvin Bridge here. Is there a is there a West Kelvin? I don't think there is a West Kelvin. Kelvin mm. Bridge knock, knock. There's a Kelvin side. Kelvin. There's North Kelvin. Kelvin side. I'm not seeing any West Kelvin. Inning West and Knock. Now I've got to be careful here because I've missed before. I've missed like the Standing Stone thing last week. Just destroyed me. I cannot believe I missed it. So I can't miss these sorts of things again. It's got to be related to it. What's the following words of common? Bridge, inning, knock, west. Finiston, Cranston Hall, Anderston, Motel. It's such a built up area. Kingston, West Street. West Street. There's a West Street here. Are they all street names? But those street names aren't really something that we see on these maps. Individual street names. But, we, but there obviously is a West Street. But it appears to be these yellow dots. Are these stations for something? Shields Road, West Street, Kinning Park, Kelvin Bridge, Hillhead. There's no hill. There's nothing with Knock. I don't even think that Knock is anywhere on this map. The word Knock. If you're shouting at the screen, comment and tell me you're shouting at the screen saying that there is a Knock. Kelvin Walkway, Kelvin Hall, Kelvin Grove, Kelvin Ho, Kelvin Bridge, Kelvin Side. I don't know what the yellow dots are, that's the other problem. Ah, Cessnock. Right, that's it. I found the knock. I found the knock, so... They're all near that, those yellow dots, but what are those yellow dots? Are they underground stations? That's the only thing I can think they can be. I don't know, even know if Glasgow has an underground system. 
Does it have an underground system? Or a subway system or a metro system? I'm gonna put all station names. That's my guess. If I get that right, then I've done very well. From what do Kelvin Grove Park and many other surrounding locations take their name? So Kelvin is clearly uh, part of the naming of a lot of these places in Glasgow. The only thing I think of is Lord Kelvin. And that's the only thing I've got, Lord Kelvin. So we're gonna go with that. Six down, two to go, we're on to the challenging questions. Number seven, can you discover which controversial masterpiece by Salvador Dali is housed adjacent to Kelvin Grove Park? Can you discover which controversial masterpiece is housed adjacent to Kelvin Grove Park? Well, here's Kelvin Grove Park. What's next to it? What's adjacent to Kelvin Grove Park? Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't really know my art. That's the problem. We've got two museums here. I don't really know anything. The only one I know by Dali, I think, is the Melting Clocks one. Adjacent to Kelvin Grove Park. No. I just don't know enough. But it says, can you discover? Mm. It says, can you discover? Which, which makes me think that it's... I'd be, I should be able to find it on the map. I just don't think I'm going to know that one. And if it comes out, turns out that I could have found it on the map, I'm going to be really annoyed. Okay, let's move on then to question eight. The the, the maximum score is now gone because I, I've I've not I've not answered that. I wouldn't even know where to to begin. I just don't know art very well. So let's go with number eight. Starting from the number eleven, head south to an academy, and then follow the nearest major road for, round to the fourth rail station. There's a National Trust for Scotland location nearby. Go directly west until you insect an A road near water. That road is crossed by a B road. Follow the B road to place a word on a stagger cross road. What attracts it? <sighs> right, right. Let's just, let's just calm down for a minute. Number 11. Starting from the number 11. Head south to an academy. Now number 11. A number 11. There's an 18, there's a 9. 27. 11, here we go. Head south to an academy, here's the academy. Then follow the nearest major road round to the fourth railway station. Now, do we include the motorway there? We must do. One, two. Oh, is that right? One, two. Now follow the nearest major road round to the fourth railway station. I'm gonna take the motorway. One, two, three, four. That's here. There's a National Trust for Scotland location nearby, which I think is this here. Go directly west until you intersect an A road near water. Well, that's here, A road near water. So these red ones are A roads, I think. That road is crossed by a B road. Here. Follow that B road to a place of worship on a staggered crossroads. What attraction is just to the north? So follow the B road to a place of worship on a staggered crossroads. Is that here? And the botanical gardens above it? It makes sense. So I'm going for the botanical gardens. That's the main uh, eight questions. Now, the key puzzle, which we have got every single one right so far, so we can't mess this up. The Clyde built three mast masted bark Glen Lee constructed in 1896 is shown on the map under its nickname. What is the first word downriver from its location? Right. 
A Clyde built three masted Barky Glenly constructed in 1896 is shown on the map under its nickname. Now that then has to be the tall ship, doesn't it? It has to be. I cannot believe it's anything other than the tall ship. The problem is what is downriver? Is it that way or is it that way? If we think about where Glasgow is, I think downriver is that way, so I think it's ferry. I think it's ferry. It's one of two, isn't it? It's ferry going that way, or it's Scottish going that way. I don't know. We're done. We are done. Let's see how we did. Puzzle six. Uh, killing, uh, killing Grove Art Gallery and Museum. And question one which asks, oh dear, let's move that back a bit. Question one, which football ground is shown on the map? It is indeed Ibrox Stadium. So we have got, we have got that one. Oh dear, what? what's going on there? There we go. Okay, Ibrox Stadium, correct. Question two, what's the circular building used for? It is uh, the theatre, so that's another one correct there. Two on the spin. Question three, uh, counting from the top, which full apostrophe row of the map contains the most places of worship and how many is that? Oh, I didn't put how many it was at six, didn't I? It was six. I'm not cheating. I did say six, I did count six. Uh, ah, it is the third row, but it's 17, which means those little crosses must have been Places of worship, these little ones here. That's crazy, 17. Uh, question four, what area is the largest hospital? It is indeed Kelvin Ho. Uh, apparently it was the only hospital on the map, so I couldn't have got that one wrong. Um, number five, uh, they all appear on the map in pink. Oh, come on. Come on, that is not on. I didn't know that was a thing. Question seven, what do the Kelvin Grove Park and other surroundings take their name? Well, from the River Kelvin, of course. From the River Kelvin, which I cannot even see. They haven't even labelled it the River Kelvin. If it's this river here, which I assume it is because everything's around this river, they haven't even named it. I'm sure it's not even on there. So I've been... I've been done there again. Um, the masterpiece is the Christ of St. John of the Cross. Was never going to get that. As I said, I'm not a big art person. So, uh, oh my word, I've got three so far. This could be the worst. But we did get this one right. It is indeed the Botanical Gardens. So we have made a little bit of progress there. And the key puzzle, oh, I didn't even write the key puzzle in. What did I? Oh, I did write ferry in, didn't I? I'm sure I wrote ferry in. Um, and it is ferry, so I got that one correct. So, we've pulled that back a little bit there from a disastrous attempt. It was, at one point, we were three for seven, and we've ended up five for nine. So, there we go, five out of nine. And the hunt for maximum marks continues, unfortunately. But we still have got every single key puzzle question correct. But that's it. We're done for another one. Five out of nine. Uh, we're working our way through Scotland quite nicely. Uh, the next one is number seven, which is the fourth bridge. The fourth bridge. And that looks like a really fun one. So we look forward to that one next week. Thanks so much for watching. It is appreciated. If you like this one, please do subscribe. It really has got a bit of a cult following now, this uh, OS treasure, treasure hunt. So I hope you're still enjoying it as much as I am. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.